So how do you do? Last question. Another one of those one that when two things changing at the same time. Hopefully you did better in this one than the previous one. Let's go in the same fashion. Intuitive first without looking at the answers. Graph second. So let's analyze the two things that happen. The two things is the Chicago Bulls win the NBA championship, right? This is in a hypothetical situation. Maybe we got lucky and it becomes a reality this year. And at the same time, the team management increases the salaries of all the Chicago players. So after these two things happen, what's going to be the effect on price and quantity? Let's analyze one thing at a time. So what is the effect on price and quantity of the Chicago Bulls winning the NBA championship? Well, probably the people are going to want to see more Chicago Bulls games. So that's going to increase the competition for tickets, and that increases the price and also increases the quantity. So the effect of the first thing is an increase in the price and an increase in the quantity. The second thing that's going to happen is that the team manager management is going to increase the salaries of all those Chicago players. If only that thing happened, what would be the result on price and quantity? Well, the supply, the cost of producing uh, Chicago Bulls games will be less that would actually increase competition for tickets that would actually increase the price and decrease the quantity so again we know that if we combine the two things we know that the effect on price of these two things combined is that the price will go up but the quantity we don't know because one of the things actually increases the quantity and the other thing reduces the quantity and unless we know that the magnitude of these changes or the arrow we can't really tell what happens to quantity so we know that the price go up, so price increases, and quantity we don't know. So when you look at the answers, that's the one we're looking for. Increase, and we don't know. Increase or decrease. So this not this one, not this one. C looks like a pretty good one. The price goes up, and the quantity we don't really know. Now you can also do, do this by uh, looking at the graph. And here I do all the graph in one. So it's a little confusing, but you, you see it a couple of times, so you should understand it a little better. So uh, if you only look at the at this change, let's say the supply, the, the bank curve go to the right because uh, people want to see more gains. And the supply curve goes to the left because of the more uh, expensive tickets because of the uh, more, uh, the higher labor costs. If we only shift the, the supply curve by this much, then the result is an increase in the price and an increase in the quantity because the demand curve, the change in demand, more than offset the change in supply. But the supply curve also could have changed by this much. The problem doesn't tell you by how much the supply curve changes. And if the supply curve changes by this much, then the quantity will be actually, will be actually less than initially. So the price always go up, but the quantity, we don't know. If it's the first supply, it will increase. If it's the second supply, the quantity goes down. So the result of this is that we will we'll be able to set to tell what happens to the price. The price definitely go um, go up, but we won't be able to happens to quantity. Okay, so this is the last question. Hopefully you uh, you enjoy the online lecture. Um, it was a lot less um, back and forth as the regular classroom, so it's not the same, but it's a good uh, alternative to do maybe a few times, and it allows you to do problems or, or to you know to do the the lecture, wherever you are, so it increases flexibility. Um, feel free to let me know if you uh, see me next class or you want to send me an email, what you think about it, and maybe we can give it another try sometime later this semester.